And I was looking over at Jamila Bay, who was a moment ago stretching. She's literally like doing calisthenics, so I have no idea what is coming next. So that's what we're Jamila Bay. Jamila. 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 I know. It's going around. Jamila Bay. The Susan Bellucci. Bellucci spelled phonetically. L O O C H E E. Me to get this, or she thinks I'm a moron. <laughs> Jamila Pay, the Susan. Jamila. <laughs> Galifianakis Bay, the Susan Lucci, the name of partner. The Susan Lucci of Comedia del Media is pissed off tonight. Well, I guess. That tells us what's coming next. <laughs> oh, and we know what the calisthenics are about. Not only does she not get to bring her gorgeous baby up here for an easy laugh. I'm assuming you're talking about a child and not a significant other. She also hasn't gotten her drink tickets. <laughs> and look at the order of importance. Her child and then the alcohol. Here we go. Jamila Bay. Thank you. Uh, Jamila Bay here. I'm a freelance journalist, which is to say I am job hunting, y'all. I have cards and resumes uh, and links to my audio work in the back. See me after. Thank you so much. Um, it's just that right now it's hard for me to find a job because of my record. Um, <laughs> not on the charts. I, I did a 10-year sentence at NPR. <laughs> NPR, NPR, um, have they been in the news lately? <laughs> How is it that people who are in the business of communicating are so bad at communicating? <laughs> that said it best said they brought a tote bag to a knife fight. <laughs> it's so true. I mean, you know, it's like, and, and I, no kidding, I did 10 years there. I mean, the, the, the rarefied air, the pure air that they have been breathing have come back to bite them in the ass. Just argh, right in the back there. Because the problem is, You've got a building full of these people with funny names. We won't go into them all here. Some of them are still my friends. But all these people with funny names, these highfalutin educations, and they have no idea how to see again and recognize bullying when it happens when they're adults. What part don't they get? Did, did, did anybody, I mean, hasn't anybody seen that video on YouTube with the uh, little, well, it's not that little, the, uh, yeah, the, the kid from Australia, Casey Hay. Yeah. Like, okay, so for those of you who haven't seen it, these bullies videotaped their victim. Casey, he's, you know, a chubby 12-year-old. And this skinny little boy runs up and he's dancing, you know, he's smacking them in the head. And, you know, and, and you know, Casey is turning, not giving them what they want. And then finally, he picks up this skinny little runt and pile drives him right into the cement. <laughs> no guns. No knives. NPR, take a note. Please. Please. You know, here, here, here's NPR. National Public Radio. We're going to take away all your federal funding. That's only 8% of our budget. We don't care so much. I'm going to ignore you. National Public Radio, you suck. Well, that's typical. We're going to be the bigger people here. And by the way, the name's not National Public Radio. We've changed it. It's NPR. Get it? No. And then finally, the blows come. like, oh, we lost our senior vice president. Oh, our president's gone. Oh, 
I, well, we have another eye to see out of. Can you please stop hitting us, Juan? You used to be our friend, Juan Williams. Why are you doing this now? <laughs> Beat up a bully. NPR needs to needs to get up and watch some of this. So you know, here, here's my problem though. NPR has a network full of people who can turn a phrase until it bends over and fillets itself. <laughs> Yet they don't know how to respond to this. It, it's so easy to see, and I'm going to tell you what to do. But I just want to remind them, you, you don't need a tote bag, you've got Nina Totenberg, yeah. okay? <laughs> Let me tell you about Nina Totenberg, no lie, this is totally real. She got run over by a speedboat. <laughs> she was hacked apart by the propeller on the boat and was at work a week later. <laughs> the woman is impervious to the scourge that has wiped out the Florida manatee. What the hell did Fox News do to her? <laughs> you know. I'm going to tell you right here, right now. Here is how to save NPR. You call in the troops, you go after the children. <laughs> Get your friends at Sesame Street and use the hell out of that little red monster. <laughs> okay, here we go. To the table read. Elmo, standing next to Snuffleupagus, looking at Big Bird in his nest. Big Bird is not moving. Okay, here we go. Snuffy. How's it looking, Elmo? <laughs> it not look good for Big Bird. The Republicans don't want us to be friends anymore, children. They're going to kill Big Bird first and then come for Elmo. <laughs> then the count runs through, waving a feather. Ha 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 ha! One feather! One feather lost! When Big Bird Exit the count. <laughs> Snuffy is. Why, Elmo? <laughs> the Republican Congress say too much money go to feed Big Bird all that bird seed. And if you and I French children, you care if Big Bird starves to death. But since Elmo loved Big Bird, like Elmo loved you, Elmo loved you. The count again runs through. Two, ha, 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 two feathers lost. Back to snuff. Oh dear. What can we do? Dr. Terry Gross, do you have any ideas? Hello, children. I'm Dr. Terry Gross. And when I'm not hosting fresh air, I'm trying to save Big Bird. I'm trying to keep him alive. The only hope is to tell your parents to call the numbers at the bottom of your screen, right? And pledge $100 or as much as they can to save Big Bird. And Dr. Terry Gross, if Big Bird's saved, can Elmo live? <laughs> You know what I'm going to say. Come on, you know. <laughs> yes, Elmo. <laughs> Saving Bird now means that nobody will come and kill you later. <laughs> but you need to act now, children. Tell your parents to not vote for any more Republicans. <laughs> that would kill Big Bird. That would kill Elmo. <laughs> That could even kill you. <laughs> and that, my friends, is how you save NPR. You heard it here first. I'm Jamila. I'm out. <laughs>